my five most warm fragrances of the year. Hello, hi, how are you? I'm well, I'm really well, thank you. Really well indeed. Oh, that was a bit of old me, wasn't it? I used to say that a lot. Hi, uh, this is my most worn fragrances. I have done uh, and published my most worn hair, uh, most used hair, my most used skincare, and this is the final of this. So um, all will be linked down below. Okay, so my first one is actually the third year of featuring this, Halfetti Leather by Penhaligans. Uh, Penhaligans is a brand that I uh, have worked with, uh, but also organically, organically love. I just think they're really, really beautiful. This was a fragrance that I first tried, I think when it first launched, which probably was about three or four years ago. Halfetti is the best seller from Penhaligans, like every single year. It's one of those ones that if you smell it on someone, it's, it's a bit of a calling card. Like I know guys, I know women uh, that, that wear that. It's, um, it's a rose, the rose from the banks of the river in Halfetti in Turkey, so it's a Turkish rose. But with this one, they've really fortified it with leather. So you've got the oud, you've got the leather, you've got the rose note, and I think it's gorgeous. It smells expensive, it smells premium, it smells sexy. There's just a real warmth to it that I think really just opens it up. It's something I always feel very comfortable wearing. You know, one of those, and that's what these are all about. Across my hair, across my skincare. It's fragrances that make me feel good. It's fragrances that I feel comfortable and confident with. So I think it's really beautiful. If you ever get into Penhaligans or a department store that has Penhaligans, go for this. Seriously, give it a shot. See if you can get yourself a sample, wear it on the skin and see how it works. But I just think with the leather in this, you're just given a sort of different facet. I quite often think of leather as in this sort of like purple color. So it feels powerful, it feels strong, but it has a sort of softness to it. I don't know if that's just me that thinks of fragrance and color, um, but that's how I see it. Okay, so let's go from that to something on completely the opposite end of the scale. And a first time in my most used. This is Molecule, Molecule 01. Now, Molecule is by Eccentric Molecules. It was a bit of a cult thing for quite some time. It uses one molecule, which is ISO E Super, which is a chemical formulation that's used in a lot of different fragrances, but this distills it just to one thing. What you'll find in this is that it reacts differently to different bodies. And um, when it was first launched, I think I was at university, because I remember people were kind of talking about this sort of mist and this sort of like almost like black magic around this fragrance that you could sometimes smell on people and sometimes couldn't but it would do something completely different. What I love about this is it's really soft, it's really cocooning, it's um, something which almost gives you that sort of fresh laundry but it just has this um, this really appealing, inviting, nuzzle in, get cozy sort of vibe. Now I have worn this by itself. It was one that I actually took away on holiday when I was away July, was it? Yeah, when I was in Greece, I took a, a small one with me. I've got a little small version here. Um, but it's also something I like to layer. Because this is so soft, because it's like a skin scent, it's a nuzzler. If you take this and then maybe take something slightly heavier with it, uh, I'm pretty sure when I was away, I paired it with Devana Cedra. Um, and I absolutely loved doing that because what you're doing is you're actually fortifying it and you're giving something uh, soft and skin-like with something a lot more powerful. It just seems to give it that extra boost in the fragrance. Let's give you another one which is featured quite a lot. This is Ombre Leather by Tom Ford. This is the third year I've featured this. I've had small ones, I've had big ones. This sits out constantly. Not because I think it's the best fragrance in the world, but because I always know that it smells good on me um, and I quite often get compliments on this, but it's not something that is overpowering. It's not an in your face scent. It's a leather with a slight sweetness to it, but it's like a soft leather. And I've said this every time I mention this fragrance, I say it's like a really sort of buttery leather jacket that's been left out in the sun. And it's got this really beautiful warmth and heat to it on the sun, um, on the skin, like the sun. I just think it's really, really great. Um, it's got texture to it, it's got movement to it, but it still has this sort of quite chilled pace to it that I like, it just brings me down. Um, 
brings me down in terms of pace, not brings me down in terms of, oh, I'm very sad. But I just really think it's beautiful. And um, I've kind of moved away from Tom Ford a lot this year and into last year, just because I haven't been that excited by the brand. I think it became a bit sort of samey, like kind of, oh, we're gonna launch something, we're gonna go big, we're gonna call it some name that just everyone's gonna talk about. And I just felt a bit like, what's next? It became a bit designery, if that makes sense. Um, not being a fragrance snob, but I just think if you're gonna do something, like do it well and don't just do it because you've got to release something. Anyway, um, they also had the perf Parfum. This is the Eau de Parfum, yes it is, Eau de Parfum. They had the Parfum that came out last year, which I liked, but I much prefer this. I think it's a really great fragrance. And they moved it down into the signature. Um, you've got Private Blend, which is the sort of bottles that you might have seen, like Tuscan Leather, Tobacco Vanille, uh, Oud Wood, and then you've got the signature ones, which are more of these sort of like rounded bottles. It just means they're slightly cheaper. They're still really good. Okay, um, from that to that to that, let's give you, okay, so there's two left, and I bought them uh, this year. Van Cleef & Arpels Orchid Leather. I was sent a sample of this. I think it was like a press day last year. Um, and it was a tiny little sample, like literally a five mil. And I remember just thinking about it so much. And so much so that, oh, when I went away to, um, mm, when I went away to, come on Robin, Copenhagen this year. I spent a month in Copenhagen, which was incredible. And just gave me like a bit of a, a moment away and just kind of a chance to like step away from things and work out who I am and what I want to do and who I want to be. Um, and that's actually when I thought, do you know what? I don't need to be in London. That's why I moved to Edinburgh, um, which has just given me like a, a new lease of life. But anyway, I bought this in Copenhagen because I saw it in one of the department stores called Magazan. And I remember picking this up in spring and thinking, ah, do you know what? I really love this. I'm going to get this. So it sort of reminds me of that whole time. But with this, with orchid leather, there's a plum note in this. A plum note which is juicy, it's ripe, it pops as soon as you spray this. And then there's sort of this like sort of white flower, then there's the leather. And um, unlike the other leathers, so with the Halfetti leather, we've got the rose, with the, uh, with the ombre leather, it's more of that sort of buttery leather, which has this warmth and this heat that comes off it. This is a fruitier leather. And it's a fruity leather in the sense that, um, it just has this real like energy to it and an energy and a sweetness. Every time I've worn this without fail, someone says, what are you wearing? I remember actually, I was really quite annoyed actually. I lent this to uh, my friend Roy, hi Roy, came around and we were getting ready to go on a night out and I was like, wear this, seriously, it's incredible. That night, everyone was saying to him, what are you wearing, you smell great. And I was stood there like, that's my freaking fragrance. I wanna be wearing that, so I got a bit jealous. Um, but this is really, really great. And and a brand that I think is quite exciting and I want to sort of experience more of into the year. Okay, final one. Um, that was from Copenhagen. Let's go to Paris. Uh, in November, 2021, I went to Paris uh, with Chanel, Chanel Beauty around a whole launch that they had for uh, Chanel Number no. One, um, which was in their skincare, but also they had a, a new fragrance. Um, more like a sort of sort of spritzy fragrance rather than a heavy sort of wear it fragrance, if that makes sense. Um, but this is Havana Noir. Havana Noir by Osman. Osman, Osman. I picked this up in a department store on the Champs Elysees. I went in and I get really excited when I can find a fragrance that I've not been sent, that I've not heard about, and that it just feels like a real discovery. Like it feels like I've sort of stumbled upon some ancient temple. Maybe a bit much, but hopefully you get what I mean. And when I smelt this, I was like, oh, this, this is good. This is really great. It's got, um, it's got a slight sort of variation on a theme um, of Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. Because it has these sort of oody notes, smoky notes, but there's a ginger in this, like a really quite sharp, lively ginger that just plays and dances and moves. And I think it's really, really beautiful. There's also these sort of boozy notes, boozy notes that I love. I don't drink anymore. It's now been over a year. It's been like a year and three or four months. Um, and so when I actually, when I smell these like gorgeous, like bourbon -y, whiskey notes, I just love them. Like I love that whole art around um, alcohol. And I think when they do them well into a fragrance, what's going on with this lid? Then I think it's just, it smells really amazing. And um, so gingery notes, Cocoa notes, vanilla notes, lively, beautiful, still quite decadent, still of that sort of like smoking jacket vibe. I sometimes say that about fragrances. 
I think it's really, really great. I'm going to check these guys out actually and see if there's any more. They're very much in the Parisian fragrance scene and beautiful. The bottles are like fine. I, I don't get too excited by that, but the juice inside is amazing. So there you go. That's my five. I will link them down below. So please do check them out. Also, if you've not seen my most used hair products, uh, that will be in the cards. Also, my most used skincare. But thank you very much. Also, thank you for a huge amount of support this year. It's been great. I have got lots coming up that I've kind of teased and also told you about in the videos before. Um, a shop has launched, shop.manfromself.com, manfromself.com forward slash shop, my shop, um, of brands that I absolutely love. So a bit of a curated experience of brands that I think bring some value to our lives. So that is that. Also, I'm launching a product uh, in this year, this year, 2023, um, which is really exciting. So stay locked in, subscribe to the newsletter, etc. But thank you very much for watching. If you've not yet pressed subscribe, then hey, please do press subscribe right now. Also, uh, more links on screen, the cards up there and everything down below. But until my next new video, bye-bye.